What up you guys, I'm Avenger05, represent the 805 where we're doing big things. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you guys for uh, joining up in here. I am showing you guys today the new Xbox Game Pass, which is just an alpha preview, uh, only a test catalog, and eventually, hopefully a lot more games. They say 100 games should be coming out as soon as it launches for everybody. I am in the inside program. Uh, insider program which I get the updates before everybody and I did show you guys the new March update which gave you this new menu only having to push the white button one time for your friends list and you have to do actually have to do that to go home you can go games and apps and your pins a lot more easier than uh, the double tapping feature which is a great feature and it is called the March update and I know it has not came out yet for everybody it's actually called the March update the creators update now, uh, a new thing came out, or I barely noticed it. I don't know why I didn't notice this, and I did hear about this before. It is the Xbox Game Pass. It is just like the PlayStation Now. And there's some weird stuff going on between PlayStation and Xbox. All of a sudden, um, PlayStation is getting some features that um, Xbox has had from the beginning. And now uh, Xbox is getting certain features that PlayStation has already had. So PlayStation has the PlayStation Now, which is... Uh, kind of like a Netflix for games where you pay $20 a month and you're able to stream um, a, a lot of games. Like I said, they've already been, they've had PlayStation now since the beginning of PlayStation 4. <clears throat> and uh, they have all kinds of games. Mainly, it's all PlayStation 3 games. Now, the other thing about PlayStation now is that you have to stream the game. So you got to have good connection and it's way better to have it hardwired to your uh, your Ethernet cable hardwired to your PlayStation 4, or else you'll get certain lag, uh, some sound lag, or even some buffering while you're playing, which the Xbox Game Pass is not streaming. You actually get to download the game and uh, play it with the $10 a month uh, membership, which they give you a 30-day free trial, and these are the only the games that they have for the Insider program. It's not very many. They say 100 games should be available um, for the Xbox, uh, Xbox, what is it called? Xbox Game Pass. Now, most of these games I already have, Sunset Overdrive, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and look at this, e this does have Xbox One games, and a lot of Xbox 360 games. Now, Xbox, a year ago, did get backwards compatible, so, um, one of the games that they have new for PlayStation now is Red Dead Redemption. But on <clears throat> Xbox One, if you had Red Dead Redemption for the 360 as a disc, you can pop that in and play it. It is now backwards compatible, and they're working on... Not all games are backwards compatible, and they're working on them. Um, but all these are backwards compatible. But most of these games I already have. Sunset Overdrive, um, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. A lot of these, Some of these 360 games I do not have. Comic Jumper is the only one that I actually clicked on to download. So it says play. But if you click on a game... It will tell you to install it. So let's say you click on uh, Hex 2. Now Hex 2 is going to say install. So installing it, uh, I already installed Comic Jumper just for this test right here. So when you click on uh, uh, the way to see this, so let's go ahead and start back to way, where to see this. Um, this is the uh, home page. So if you go to your store, and you go down to browse uh, Xbox Game Pass, the first time you click on it, it will ask you to join the 30-day free trial. As you can see right there, one month Xbox Game Pass free trial. Um, it is pretty much worth the free trial, um, probably when it comes out for all the 100 games. It's not very many games, I can see. Not very many games at all for the Insider program. For the, It's called Test Catalog, as you can see right there. So... When I go to the games and apps, as you can see the games that I have already, um, I pretty much have a lot of games on here. 250, 16 games downloaded to a 3 terabyte hard drive. And a lot of these games I haven't even touched yet. Um, just when I see them on sale, I just go for it. All these Lego games, I got them on sale for like $5 during Christmas. Uh, Shadows of Mordor, I am actually playing it. I did get this on sale a couple years ago. It was like $25 for the Game uh, of the Year edition. Um, another example is, if you go down, 
Well, anyways, you just see I got a lot of games here. And they did give away a lot of good games for the games with gold. Uh, this right here, 360 compatible game, they gave for free. Never played it before. Um, Rayman, Rayman Legends, I did pay $40 for it, but they gave that for free a while ago. Rayman Origins, they gave that for free like a month ago. Um, as you can see, I got a whole bunch of games that I just buy for the heck of it. 50 games ready to install. Um, Isolation, I got that for $10 during Christmas, never even played it. Um, Deadpool is on sale for $10, haven't even touched it yet. Let's see what else. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, haven't even touched it yet, it was on sale. And the newest one I got was Witcher 3, the complete edition. It was on sale for $25. That's a killer one right there, I just bought it for the heck of it. Don't even know when I'm ever going to play half the games that I have. I just got a big problem of buying games. Now this is a new one that I hear uh, for the new feature is it shows you your memberships. So I did do the t uh, free trial for the Xbox Game Pass and I do got Xbox Live. So when you go to Xbox Game Pass, it will have the games you have right here. But now we're going to go to the ones that I just, the one I just downloaded from the Game Pass that I don't own just to test it out, Comic Jumper. So when I click on it, it's going to go straight to the 360. It's got a 360 emulator in here, so you'll be able to play your 360 games. So it's able to play, as promised, through this uh, pass. Now what I wanted to show you guys is that um, if you have your account set up to be the main account on the uh, Xbox, all other accounts on your Xbox will be able to play your games um, without having you be signed on to your console. So this is the 360 dashboard. Like I said, it's a 360 emulator in the Xbox One. So I never played this game yet. Don't even know what it's about. This intro makes no sense to me yet, um, but we'll check that out later. So we're going to go back to the home page. Uh, we'll close that. So now I want to explain to you guys about the PlayStation Now. Um, it's streaming games, but also the PlayStation Now, you o you can only get the membership for one account on the PlayStation 4. Even though if you pay for it for the account that is the primary account for your PlayStation 4 to be able to play all the games, it does not work for PlayStation Now. So on Christmas when uh, we got the PlayStation 4 for my son because he wanted to play Street Fighter, and unfortunately Street Fighter is a PlayStation 4 exclusive, which is kind of BS, but anyways, I checked out the PlayStation Now because I heard about it, and I saw it was on sale for ten nine nine or nine 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 um, for the PlayStation Now. So I jumped on it. I'm like, okay, thirty dollars for my uh, for me, my son, and my wife's account. Not bad. I'll pay thirty dollars a month. So I did the fifteen day free trial. So once the free trial was up, it was in January, and all of a sudden I got hit with a sixty dollar um, payment to my bank. And I'm like, what the heck? So I called them up. And PlayStation's like, yeah, we're sorry. That deal was only for December. <clears throat> so when my member uh, free trial was up, it was already January. So right now I'm paying sixty dollars a month. I've already did it for three months so far, and uh, we hardly even use it. Um, yeah, we did not own a PlayStation Three. We have PlayStation One and Two, um, but I never got the PlayStation Three, and that's why on PlayStation my game. Uh, my PSN account is Avenger805 with an X uh, because apparently somebody already had that. And because I did, I should have got the PlayStation 3 just for that. Yes, I messed up there. But what I really wanted to show you guys was that you can actually, since I pay for it for my membership, any other profile on my account will be able to play any game I download from the PlayStation or Xbox. Sorry guys, Xbox Game Pass. So I'm going to go on my son's account. This is all the accounts on my Xbox. My brother-in-law, my other brother-in-law, <clears throat> my niece, my guest account, my wife's account, and my son's account. I'm showing you guys this right now so that way you guys can see. You will never see any of these accounts trolling anybody, uh, doing shady stuff, boosting clips, or anything like that. You will never see them ever like anything in my page, and so on. You can take a good look at this, and these are all real accounts. We're going to go on my son's account just to test it out for you guys so you guys can see, uh, you know, with hand. 
Now my son has, uh, as you can see on the top left, 17,000 gamer score. 17,000 gamer score. And my son does play a lot of games. I have 55,000 gamer score, and my son has 17,000 gamer score, and he is a gamer, and he does play a lot of games. And he records nonsense stuff, and he loves he loves gaming. Just to show you guys all the achievements he gets, and he's been getting achievements since he was, I don't know, freaking four years old. He's nine now. But anyways, enough of that. We're going to show you guys. Go ahead and tap the button one time. No more double tapping for your friends list, which is great. And we are going to go to games and apps. And we are going to click on Comic Jumper, which is one that I recently installed from the Game Pass. You click on it, and boom. He can, pay it. He can play it without paying for membership, which is a good plus um, for Xbox against the PlayStation Now. The fact that you can download the games and not have to stream them is another plus for uh, this good uh, Game Pass. And we're going to see. We're going to find out what games are going to come out when they actually do the $100, uh, 100 games, supposedly, when it first comes out. So as you can see, uh, my son does not pay for... Uh, my son does not pay for um, freaking membership. He doesn't pay for any membership. He doesn't have Xbox Live, and he does not have the Game Pass. My Xbox Live pays for all accounts on my Xbox, which unfortunately plays, uh, Xbox 360 does not do that. So my son really doesn't mind not playing uh, online for Xbox 360 games. So there it is. One other thing I wanted to show you guys, these are recent games that my son has been playing. He loves fighting games. Um, I did show you guys about Beam, but I did delete the video, unfortunately. And it was doing pretty good on YouTube. So Beam is a new thing from Microsoft. Um, it's actually been out for about a year, and it is implied in this new um, update, this new uh, menu. You can uh, broadcast your game to Beam. My son has not gone on Beam yet, so it doesn't have an account, but it's just an example to show you guys. And I'll go through that again later some other time. But another thing I wanted to show you guys real quickly is the new update, which I did already show you guys in my previous video. And I'm just going to show you guys again since if you haven't seen it already. So screenshots is Y still for screenshots. X for record that. And the little select button for game DVR is a lot easier than what it was. You can easily start recording. Uh, record the last 15 seconds, 30 seconds, minute, 3 minutes to 5 minutes. Way easier for those of you guys that are creating clips on the Xbox One. So there you have it. Um, real quickly, I'll go ahead and go back to the freaking... We're going to go back to the, the... What do you call it? Xbox Game Pass. It's kind of hard for me to say right now. I don't know why. Xbox Game Pass. It is called Xbox Game Pass. PlayStation Now and Xbox Game Pass. So I'm signed back in. We're going to go to my games and apps. Or you go to the store. So it's cool. You go to your membership and it's right there. I want to go to the Xbox Game Pass. And I'll show you guys real quickly what games are only available for PlayStation Now. We'll quickly skim through it. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time. So not very many games at all for me to, to check out, which, like I said, most of the good ones I already have. Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which is Gears of War 1 Remastered, um, which is kind of cool. They got Sunset Overdrive, which they gave out for free like a year ago for uh, Xbox Games with Gold. So there you have it. Just a quick look through, a little hands-on on the place, uh, Xbox <sighs> Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass. There you go. So uh, thank you guys for joining. Once again, I'm Avenger05. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, we're almost at 400 subscribers. Yes, I got, um, what should we call it, 100 followers on Xbox, and I only have 300 subscribers on YouTube. Big difference there. Um, a lot of my videos are uh, made from Xbox Upload. Xbox editing system that it has. I got 10,000 followers on Xbox because Xbox has featured about five of my videos 
on the dashboard for everybody to see and a lot of you guys are probably like man that's a lot of views for YouTube no PlayStation is actually linked to your YouTube channel so if you make a video on PlayStation and they feature it you're gonna get a lot of views on um, YouTube but Xbox is not so as you can see like if I can make a video um, it's got 600 likes, 6,000 likes, and about so many thousands of views, and it does not go to my YouTube channel, unfortunately. Now, PlayStation for Beam uh, does not have Beam, but it does have three other things you can stream to, which is um, Twitch, Daily Motion, and YouTube. Yes, you can stream to YouTube on PlayStation, which is something that is very cool. But like I said, I am new to PlayStation 4. Um, I do like it a lot, some good games, and uh, yeah, I've always been an Xbox fan, so I'm going to show you guys a lot of updates for Xbox, and uh, yeah, they did, a, they did a switcheroo, so obviously we got something that's similar to PlayStation Now, and PlayStation has some new updates for like activity feed, like as you see right here, they also have, uh, you can use external hard drive, if you don't know, a PlayStation 4 can use an external hard drive now. Um, for storage as Xbox has always had that as you as you saw earlier I have a three terabyte hard drive that is completely full um, with over 50 games that still need to be uh, that are waiting to be downloaded um, and for other features that Xbox has now that PlayStation has always had we now have clubs that are kind of similar to uh, PlayStation communities and we also have group messages that are like PlayStation um, PlayStation has already had group messages this guy angel call uh, uh colin says i'm a fan thank you very much and group messaging on xbox is horrible horrible due to the fact that play, uh, xbox is a um followers based console and playstation is not so i get a lot of followers that are trying to send me clips to ask me to share for them and this group messaging you click on it your your messages freeze up it's horrible the way it used to be, you can send it into a mass message and send it out to everybody, and everybody would get it into a direct message like this. Um, I usually just try to click on the direct messages, and you know it's kind of hard, you guys. I'm sorry, I don't click on any of it. Um, I wanted to show you guys, for example, most people do not do this, and they really should. Okay, so this go right here, as you can see, it's a group message. It's got four little gamer pictures on the left, but she has titled it her gamer tag above there. As you can see, most people's uh, group message, the title is like other people's gamer tag. For example, this one that I'm highlighting right here, uh, the title of his message is Avenger 805 and Awesome Something. So the title of his message is actually my gamer tag. If you don't title your messages, um, it just makes it harder. I, I will share first thing for my closest friends for this girl right here. And I, that's why I gave her the advice. I'm like, I told her, uh, I won't know if it's you unless you title it your name. And I'll definitely always share for you. And uh, so I always share for my closest friends. But now this group messaging, I don't know who's who. And I don't know what is what. So just title your guys' clips, send out your message, and then you can go back to the message and retitle it retitle it to at least your own gamer tag which will make it a lot more easier um i know i kind of rolled on i'm sorry you guys once again I, i'm avenger05 make sure you guys uh hit that like button subscribe you guys are awesome 